Hey everybody and welcome back to the Rabbit Sanctuary's YouTube channel. Bonding bunnies can be really daunting if you have no experience with it. There's a lot of conflicting information out there on what is the best method. In this video, we're going to show you a stress-free and simple way to bond your bunnies. To use the table bonding method, you will need to place your bunnies on a flat surface with a towel underneath. Deanne will explain what is next. Yeah. Not down here because you could get a nip. Okay. So here, and we're just doing this. Bodies pushed together. If they're not pushed together, keep mm -hmm. pushing together and keep rubbing the head. And just lightly with the head. Just like we're not trying to pressure them down. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to let them sit comfortably on their own to feel their each other's body and to feel that it's nice to be next to each other. Yeah. And the patting of the head is just to help to emphasise the nice feeling of sitting next to someone. Mm -hmm. And if I don't like that, I'll just bring her up and go into place again. Yep. So often they're just moving their legs to get comfortable. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. One can sit upright, one can lay down. That's okay. As long as there's no actions like they're going to nip, mm -hmm. then you're fine. And then what I do is once I've been doing this for a while, for a few days, I then after doing a five minute session on the table, I just let my hands wait and see what response I get. So usually I like about day three, session nine. And what session are we up to here? Oh, we're in a couple of weeks. Okay. So we're probably into 15 or yep. more because we're bonding four. Yeah. So I've chosen the two girls to show you a, a naughty scenario, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, so I would be letting them walk around now because I've given them five minutes to get to know each other again mm -hmm. and letting movement happen on the table. My hands are ready to go for grabbing if I have to grab one or move one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's got to co focus on this way. And so you were saying as well. So we're getting that, ready. Uh, See? So you've got to be ready for it because I just know she's naughty. So once I get a naughty position again of snapping, we go back to being here. Okay. And we would rub again for a 10 minute session or a 15 minute session, depends on how you're feeling, with how they're at, where they're at. You could then stop and let it try again. And do you have a total session time? Like, do you not go above 15 minutes? I usually never above 15 yeah. minutes. So if they've been biting or nipping or trying to nip, I'd bring them back to this position again. Mm -hmm. And see, so I sort of squeeze them like a sandwich mm -hmm. together and just give them a pat. Do that for a couple of minutes and then stop again. So this is when you've done at least nine sessions. Okay. And I'm just waiting around to see what's gonna happen, ready to re respond to it. Shh, shh, shh. So if they've been naughty, we go back again. You have to go back to this. And you just use that noise every time to... To set them that's a naughty. You're yeah. naughty, you're not gonna get away with it. Yeah. Yeah. He's really sensitive around the bum area. A good thing to do is to start desensitizing for that as well, and it's a tap. So you'd be tapping the bottom, so they get used to being touched around the bum with a, another bunny. And you do that every day? Yep, yep, just until you'll see there's no response. So you can okay. see now it's not a real jumpy response. Yeah. So he's already getting used to being touched around that area, but that's how you would do it. All right, so um, once they've had about nine sessions, if they're not sn snapping or biting or nipping at each other, they can do a pen session where you put them in the pen and you need to be inside the pen and you watch that they can move around without trying to attack each other. If there's been a scuffle, they're not ready for the pen, you need to go back to table bonding for another day or two. Mm -hmm. And that could be that could mean another three to six sessions. Sure. Um, and then we talk, you talked about at the start, um, there's just, a scale. Yeah, there's a scale. Okay, so in my mind I have a scale, so I think that might help people to understand levels of when to move on or whatever else. So when Winston came and Pippa came on board to, to be bonded, um, Winston was like in a scale of 1 to 10, he was like a 10 plus. It was mental. Every five seconds, like seconds, attack, 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 mm -hmm. attack. Um, and Pippa was a, definitely a 10. So when you look at the scale now, I'm going to say they're probably sitting at five or six because okay. we're still having issues and um, we're still having nipping. If we get to about a three or a four and it may rarely happen, that's where I think they would be um, a three or a four. 
A two or a one means they're pretty much not nipping and they're able to move around on a table. And if they're about a one level in our scale, I'd be ready to move them to the um, playpen area to try. So I'm still thinking these are about a five maybe. So I wouldn't do it yet because there's just been a bit too much nipping today. Mm -hmm. This is progress, so mm -hmm. this is really good. So um, maybe another session they probably a bit better. This is good. So we, that's why we can't respond too quick because we might be missing something that's good and we're stopping a good thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is about a five, I reckon. So um, if the 15 minute session is up, and one bunny happens to snap at the other, mm -hmm. I would not finish the session there because you're rewarding a naughty bunny by biting or put, I get put in the pen. Yeah. So make sure you give them another few more minutes before you put them in the pen. And when they're doing really well, that's when I'd stop the session and Great. put them into their pen. Great. A big thank you to Deanne and Mim for this video. If you have any questions about bonding, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on so you don't miss any of our other videos. Until next time. Bye everybody.